Well, hello there, how are you all doing? It's been a while, work and life in general kept me away from working on my projects, but here I am with a new video. I know it's been all Age of Empires recently here in the channel, but I was commissioned to build a trade center from the game and I didn't want not to make a video of it. So let's get to the build. I cut off cardboard to make the main boxy section of the building. Also, don't mind the stray cat enjoying herself on my bench. Glued the ends to make each floor of the building. Had been kinda careless with it and as usual some corners ended up being not even. Hope to fix it or rather hide it with other details later on. With a bit of an eyeballing I started marking and building the platform it's sitting on. And after that I started working on the wall-like extensions of the building by the main archie gate. Never built such a thing this way, the curvy one especially was quite fun to make. Once the roof parts of those done I started on their legs. Starting with cutting square shaped cardboard pieces as a platform for the legs to sit on. In the original image they look like stone pillars. I tackled that with skewers and covered them with baking soda to add stony or cement like effect. Or I'm hoping for that effect since as of the day I'm recording this video this is not painted yet. In fact I'm splitting this video in two just like the last time in order to not keep the channel without an upload anymore. Anyway I hot glued the pillars as evenly as possible then glued the cardboard right underneath of each one. I punched some cardboard strips to make some sort of a stylish element. Then added half circles to further enhance the effect I was going for. Then split this card box into its atoms to make some shingles. And laid them up one by one, probably the most insane job for me when I'm building such roofs. Yet I like the final result once they are painted, so I'm not really complaining. After that I started on the gate section. Original design has stone wall detail on half of it, so I didn't want the top section to look thin and awkward and buffed it up with more cardboard and baking soda. Then laid the stonework on its legs I suppose. There are some wooden details sticking out in the reference image so I glued some chopstick pieces. Added some triangular styrofoam cuts to decorate its top section. Then added the two pillars it had in the image. After the gate section I started working on the side extensions of the building. Got more cardboard and glued them together. This too has pillars, so I made three of them. Only this time, in order to gain more surface for glue to hold onto the pillars, I punched holes on the cardboard pieces. Added the same punched cardboard strips to decorate this as well. It ended up being a key feature throughout this build. Then after thinking about how to tackle the separator kind of thing on the side of it for a couple of days, I drilled holes on a piece of cardboard with various sizes of drilling bits. The idea was, if I can't make a mesh like separator, a mesh would just look too metallic and a cage like something would end up looking like way too away from the original design. I decided to make it this way. At some point it got way too brittle with all the super glue and baking soda treatment and I had to stop widening the holes and accept it the way it is. After that I glued various sizes of cardboard cuts to make the rather beveled roof of it. Utilize baking soda and dremel sanding to achieve this. I feel like I'm solving most issues with baking soda. Sometimes it's a handicap since the pieces treated this way can end up being rather heavier than the platform carrying them. That was exactly the issue with this one. Not that big of a problem but ends up getting the final result heavier. 
and considering that I'll ship this to United States that weight will add up to the shipping cost. Anyway after that I added some styrofoam pieces on the edges of the roof. The original has more intricate design but I took some creative liberty and made it this way. Next I prepared stones from styrofoam and started covering where stone details should be. Here I also took creative liberty. In the original image there is some ceramic tile like detail I simply can't replicate in the scale with the timetable I'm on. So instead I created slabs with random circles, half circles and lines. Almost like some tribal marks or hieroglyphs. Added the same sticking wood detail on where they should be and finished the extension of the building. With cardboard and copy stairs I made a pair of doors, one as the main gate and one smaller for the second door. I made a pair of small extensions to go by the sides of the main door to add more of that tribal mark detail. Added the stones around the door. While waiting for them to dry I worked on the edge details on the second floor and roof sections. used foam core to cover up the floor and then applied more punched cardboard strips. Made a pair of narrower doors opening up to the balconies on each side. Also made some windows. Originally these should have been stained glass. I will try to paint them that way when it's time to paint this. Next I started working on the steps on the side of the building. There is not really anything special in making this, this was the simplest method I could think of making it. While waiting for the steps glue to dry, I started working on the stonework all over it. Used bigger stones on the bottom side of the walls to differentiate the overall look of it. Made sure to cover the top parts on the sides of the stairs where I could see the cardboard. Then with baking soda and CA glue I applied some texture on the ground floor. As the second floor walls are not covered with stonework in the reference image, I applied some thick baking soda with multiple coats to achieve a cement look. The front facing wall has some interesting artistic detail I had to replicate somehow. I found the solution this way. The way it is in the original image is something I can't really replicate so I improvised this one. Made sure to cover it with CA glue to seal the fibers of the cardboard for paintwork. Again in the original image there are 8 pillars in total. Here I made 4 thicker ones. I'm not fully replicating anything here so it should look fine once completely done. Railing of the stairs were somewhat annoying. I had to drill guiding holes with an unguided angle, but they ended up alright I suppose. For the roof I used bigger chunks as cornerstones. Then laid three layers of stonework in between them. And again decorated the top of the wall with triangular styrofoam cuts to fit the rest of the building. And the same style of decoration to replicate the ceramic tile looking detail on the roof. 
This piece also has some decorative elements and I sold it with more half circle cardboard punches. Added the texture the usual way and put it aside to fully dry. Next I cut a roll on dia ball into and used the half as the dome of the bell tower after some baking soda modifications. Added the corner details and used a metallic jewelry piece as the decorative piece on top of it. For the bell itself, I cut off a CA glue bottle cap, inserted a skewer in it and glued it right under the dome. Skip the entire rope or chain detail that we can see in the reference image that logically would be there. Used skewers for this to sit on. Glued some thin cardboard strips to add some detail in between each pole. So for the dome sitting on the roof of the building, I utilized a circular plastic piece I got out of a spray bottle. Covered it up with a cardboard piece glued a bottle cap for this to sit on and then turned this into a cookie like shape took five or so coats to achieve a rounded result after a thorough sanding i got the result i was going for in order to get the necessary grooves i spread baking soda in symmetrical lines once done added the jewelry bit on this one as well to complete its assembly Glued the thing on its base, then glued the entire thing on the roof. In order to get this ready for the paintwork for later, I applied Vallejo Black Primer over two coats to make sure I covered all the spots. And got done with this part of the build. Thank you all for watching the part 1 of this. Sorry I had to split this in two, but it is what it is. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss the next part in which I paint this and turn it into a tire module. I'll see you soon in the next one, bye bye.